Another year gone by, and another year full of outside Xbox and outside extras Dungeons & Dragons Oxventure. It's been the busiest year yet for the Oxventurers Guild, and what better way to celebrate our increasingly chaotic escapades in the Kingdom of Geth than by collecting some of the best D&D moments of 2019 for you to enjoy. Thanks for joining Merylwen, Dob, Corazon, Prudence, Egbert and Johnny, aka literally everyone else in the world, this year. Here we go, and remember, don't be a Dob! <laughs> I can say that because Luke's not here. You're all standing there, it's all very, very tense um, until, as one, the skeleton's jaw, jawbones start to move and they speak and they say, We are Ethelfrith's chosen. Hi. Nice to meet you. <laughs> In life, we serve the builder. Now we are sworn to serve they who wield the hammer until their death. Good. <laughs> <laughs> and on average, how long is that? Don't really know. <laughs> First time it's happened. Okay. Man, I can't believe Dob gets a skeleton army. Yeah. Skeleton <laughs> army. Skeleton oh, army. Let's see that hammer for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to show you something. <laughs> Play skeletons to fix in. Do, 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 do. Hey, <laughs> do, do, do. everybody grab some tools wherever you can find them. We're going to fix it up. Bumble's going to be buzzing. <laughs> Very good. Oh, like a bee. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Um, quite broad brief, boss. There's, there's lots of things at once. <laughs> okay, that is fair. I am listening to your concerns. <laughs> uh, ha happy being laborers, boss. Not in it for management money. <laughs> well, well, there's no management money. <laughs> oh, the skeletons could go to the lake later, later, later. Can't help, <laughs> can't help notice no HR department either. <laughs> All right. I appoint one of the skeletons to be HR. I appoint one of the skeletons to be finance. Uh, I appoint... One of the skeletons to be... What else is there in the... IT. IT. <laughs> <laughs> and the remaining... If there are any skeletons left... Um, yeah, I would like you, please, to build the orphanage first, if that's, if that's cool. You guys build do, orphanage. You guys do a great mm -hmm. job. Yes, build the orphanage, please. Simple. Thank you. Can get. Build orphanage. Yes, right. yes, cool. All right. We're all learning together. That's good. Skeletons have, have upbeat music again. Oh. And then, <laughs> the skeletons, they don't spring into life, obviously. They're the reanimated dead. That would be ridiculous. But they all pick up uh, blocks of stone, and with a will, they set to, and they start building an orphanage that could hold, basically, all of the orphans. And there is room for more, but that's quite an upsetting prospect, so let's not <laughs> think about it. Um, but either way, it's got a, a rec room and all sorts of things, and it looks table? wonderful. Hmm? Is there a pool table? Yes. Yeah. Um, and Guys, the skeletons this. kind of stand there, and dramatically, like, you hear the rasp of hands on bone. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> and some dust just falls off, off as they sort of shake their hands. Don't do that off. anymore, skeletons. Orphanage, boss. Cool. Says. Okay, orphanage built. Good. What's next on the list, Merylwen? Uh, pub. <laughs> please. Thank God. All right. <laughs> yeah, just to shut him up. Okay, next, please build a pub. A bar and call it the Bumblebee. <laughs> Everyone, everyone, just make me a... Um, uh, don't get killed by skeletons. Wisdom perception <laughs> yeah. check. A good time. Oh, we're going to call over. this a five. <laughs> Look forward to missing that one. Uh, one. <laughs> 21. Ooh. Oh! Did you roll a natural 20? You didn't. You no, rolled 17. 17. 17 or so. Okay. Uh, I got nine minus one, so eight. It's just the gift. <laughs> okay, um, Dob, to you, this looks like a fine orphanage. Anyone should be, should be proud to, to, <laughs> to stay there. Um, to the rest of you, it looks like a very wet orphanage and a very red orphanage. Oh, no. Prudence got her red room full of blood. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, it, yeah, it, it looks like it's... I mean, it looks sturdy. There's big blocks involving some kind of mortar. 
And basically, you're like, yeah, this looks, again, basically the both of you are like, great orphanage, everybody. <laughs> and the skeletons are standing there just looking pleased as punch. They're grinning, in fact. Now, I don't know what the kids are into nowadays. <laughs> but yeah. I don't think it's blood orphanages. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what, what stone did you use? Stone boss from Quarry. Wh what about the mortar? Is it orphans? You've got to tell us if it is. <laughs> Ah, orphans, boss. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Skeletons do bad. Skeletons, I... Dub, dub, mm. dub, mm. dub, dub. <laughs> yes. From your orphanage. It's made with orphan cement. <laughs> So on the it's all ground up orphans. On the we don't need an orphanage anymore. We no we longer need to build an orphanage. Yeah. <laughs> we could turn it into the pub. It's already got a pool table. Okay. All right. Uh, skeletons. <laughs> ah! Uh. <laughs> so while Corazon stands there sputtering on the dark, I'm piping everyone aboard. Egbert, <laughs> Meryl, Hen, and Dob <laughs> yeet themselves into the sea. You and they're like, I'm on! And sort of slowly splashing along. And uh, you hear a voice at your shoulder, Coruscant, that says, Hello. Hello? I understand <laughs> you the captain of the ship. Yes, that's right. Did you not say I'm not wearing it, but this hat <laughs> means captain. We desire passage. Well, good luck with that. Anyway. No, <laughs> please. Mummies. Who are you? Where do you want to go? Well, he sort of gestures behind himself, and you see... 30 men fully arrayed in these dark robes with woad sort of splashed all over their faces and up their forearms, uh, all standing there sort of looking very solemnly at you. It says, we are organizing a stag do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in. I've never been on one before. Let's go. Yeah. Wait, do wait, do wait, we wait. need a stag? Because I could probably ask one of my mates. <laughs> I don't understand. Okay. <laughs> Is there an email thread and how much money do we have to put all in at the beginning? <laughs> I need to check my calendar. Yeah, I'm not adding to the pool of it. No, we wish to hire... Because I might not do the spa day. All right, all right, mate, all right. Is it you getting married? Are you the sag? No. Who's, the, who's getting married? Is that one? He points... You don't know which one he's pointing at. They're all just there like... I don't know. There's something fishy about these guys. They're all covered in woad. The only you ever know anyone good covered in woad? The only thing fishy about these guys is the smell they're emitting. I say we let them aboard. <laughs> Negotiate the price. Well, yeah, I mean, you're not getting on the boat for free, ship for free. I'm a captain. I know the terms. We wish to travel for five days. When we arrive, we shall give you 100,000 gold <laughs> pieces. <laughs> some, some, cool at, a, at a sign. <laughs> Some, some men step forward and open chest, teeming with gold oh. pieces. Okay, On arrival, <laughs> if this, the entertainment is satisfactory, <laughs> we shall pay you a further 200,000 gold pieces. Did, did you say entertainment? Yes. Is, it, just to check, is that so much gold that actually it would collapse the economy, rendering all currency worthless? That's the objective. Like, that's what that's I the end game. Yeah. Let's do it. Crash the economy. <laughs> <laughs> Seize the means of quest production. Yeah. Yeah. So we need to provide. We really escalated from just throwing stuff days. in a lake. Let's put capitalism in the lake. <laughs> <laughs> we desire to travel to Necropolis on Sea. Okay, Ooh. sounds lovely. Um, hmm. sounds, sounds yes, great. I'm sure uh, we can arrange that. Um, yeah, if you want to talk to uh, the ship's entertainment director, Dob. Oh yeah. yes. <laughs> he sort of turns very slowly. Monday night is salsa night. Uh, <laughs> Tuesday night we have a magician. It's Corazon performing sleight of hand. Oh, sorry, you've got your hand up. Yes, questions. I think you'll find this shall be your itinerary. It is a five-day voyage to Necropolis on Sea. I've been on this kind of stag too before. We request the following entertainments. Uh-oh. I'm sure it's normal. What normal thing do they want to be entertained with? I'm Dog. so happy. <laughs> Stag do itinerary. Okay. Number one, karaoke. 
Yes. Number two, magic show. Number three, whale watching. <laughs> Number four, dinner and fireworks. Oh, yeah. Number five, pirate training with a real life pirate. Are these things with which you can furnish us? It's almost yes. too perfect. I know. Yes. This is so lucky. I don't think we should overthink it. No. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody aboard the party boat! <laughs> party boat! Party boat! Agreeable. <laughs> okay, These well, I'm sure they'll great. be better once they get a drink in them. Prudence, mm. as you step onto, I don't know if you're using a skiff or whatever to get over to the ship. Yeah, uh, yeah I, know I, I know what a skiff is. You gonna row us over there? Oh, you row, yes, row, the, I'm, yeah. As you row step, the skiff. As you step onto uh, the skiff itself, you feel uh, like the moment your heel makes contact with the board, you feel sort of a hum of eldritch energy mm. come up and suffuse your entire body, and you're oh. like, that's this feels right. Yeah. Cthulhu wants me to do this. You're going to throw the best goddamn stag to <laughs> you've ever been on, which is, the, I mean, this is presumably your first one. I don't want to read into your backstory. My true calling, yes. yes. My first ever and best ever stag do. To end all stag do's, there will be no further stag do's. Tremendous. <laughs> Cthulhu that sounds wills ominous. it. <laughs> Cthulhu no this. As Cthulhu lad. wills, yeah. <laughs> Cthulhu, mad lad Cthulhu. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, uh, as you start, are you ferrying the, the stag party across? Yeah. Great. They... We're rowing over in the skiff, which is a kind of boat. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> they start a, a low boat. chant, which is sort of in perfect unison, just lads, lads, <laughs> lads, 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 ah. lads, lads. <laughs> lads. I like these lads. <laughs> <laughs> lads. How does it go after that? Nads. <laughs> All right, forward party. Yeah. Um, how about uh, the rest of us could be on the roof, ready to drop down the chimney in an emergency? <laughs> so if the fire's not on, it will be fine. You're fine, Ruth. No, how are you going to uh, fit in a chimney? My disguise is going to burst into flames. You're orc. Though. You're like six foot six. I just I think it will be fine. <laughs> <laughs> He believes. <laughs> how about instead you position yourself by the door, ready to breach and clear okay. if things kick off? Let's do that. I, yeah. It's also I like the roof idea. Is, is there a chimney? Is there, I look onto the roof of the spoiled vintage. Is, is there a chimney? There is a chimney. There is a chimney. Is no. there smoke coming out of it? No. Is it large enough to accommodate a tiefling and a half orc? Yeah. <laughs> sure. Yay! <laughs> um, all right, roof it is then. Right, not all of you. Like, we, if we're on like different positions, we can like all burst in in we'll different be, places. We'll be able to listen down the chimney, mm. yeah, mm. and hear your conversation and hear how it's going. Plus, uh, uh, this can like psychically message you at any point and stuff. It'll that's be... true. Okay. It'll I do be think fine. It... We'll, we'll have you back. We right. definitely won't leave okay. you. From okay. down the road, uh, Dob, you hear a voice go. Wait a minute. Uh, and it occurs to you that maybe everyone should hurry up a little bit. Oh. Right, right, right. Ooh. Okay, cool. You guys get into position and I'm going to go in with right. Meryl Wen in cat form on my shoulder. <laughs> Alright, we uh, scurry <laughs> up a corner drain pipe onto the roof. I haul. No, 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 I've got a new spell for this. <gasps> uh, spider climb, I cast spider climb and I climb <laughs> terrifyingly like a spider <laughs> vampire. Oh, Jesus. Up the wall <laughs> no. Of this world vintage. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like a lizard. Oh. <laughs> Spooky, it's a very easily climbable drain. Oh. Can, you, can you take us with, with you? No. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that can't or won't? You climb. Okay. <laughs> Both. Just I rush like, inside oh. to avoid having to look at it. Okay, uh, okay. okay um, right. I do so my best to sort of haul Egbert up onto the corner. I'm assuming it looks almost like you dislocated various things to make it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Real yeah. hard show. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, um, so it'll be a strength, athletics, or dexterity acrobatics check for those who are getting onto the roof. So to be fair, only the two of you and one of you is a seahorse. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to be carried. Dob, you, you, you get up there and then we'll, we'll make you roll to, to haul up the seahorse. <laughs> OK. Man. okay. Anyone watching is going to be like, what the <laughs> hell is going on? <laughs> Okay, so I rolled a five plus twelve <laughs> is seventeen. Seventeen. That's easy maths. Um, so okay, seventeen. That was for dex acrobatics, wasn't it? Yes. <laughs> so, like, you do a triple somersault, half twist <laughs> onto the roof of the shack and land cat like. <laughs> <laughs> Well, um, are you fond of riddles? 
Yes. Ha! Oh, Let's say yes. I mean... <laughs> yes. Let us just... I'll give it a go. Let us... I'll give it the old college try. Let us... <laughs> let us just say... Let us just say... This is droll. This is good. Hold on. Uh, let us just say that his, his lordship, Mr Hawthorne, is a very deft chess player, because he knows the secret of chess, you see, where it, it's the, the best thing to do is to keep um, a, a piece hidden. If your opponent doesn't even know where the queen is before it strikes, then he shall never know where the queen is, even if it is right under his opponent's nose. What's chess? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you asked, my boy. Shall I explain it to you? Yes, please. <laughs> we do have several hours left at this party. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> OK, well... <laughs> you could be maybe more explicit. Oh, sure. It's, it's a simple game about moving things around. Oh. And seeing the weaknesses in mm. your opponent's lines. Uh. And sometimes, <laughs> even though they're looking very carefully at, at you right in the face, you'll find that you have missed something hidden that is valid. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm getting is there's something inside your face. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. Am I even oh, close? No. Get him, Hickman. <laughs> There's about to be my boy. Eh? <laughs> um, and he basically is now sort of like insensate. Um, hmm. More I've got nothing. Yeah, more tinnies. <laughs> if only I had more tinnies. I take his glass of whiskey and I'm like, well, I'm going to think on this for a bit. Is <laughs> Egbert trying to solve the riddle? It's yeah. like numbers, numbers, yeah. numbers. It's like the beautiful mind thing, but it's not that beautiful. <laughs> uh, it's just like memes. <laughs> <laughs> but old memes. You really know, like, old. I can has cheese book. <laughs> <laughs> that old. Wow, such Exactly clue. that old. So clue. <laughs> Such evidence. <laughs> wow. I, you know, I used to live in the woods, folks. Um, yeah. Like, I just, so you think, know where of, to find I just think if I walk into the woods and just, like, push my hands into the moss and the foliage, I'll, I'll, I'll just know. <laughs> <laughs> the professor has been staring at you the entire time with, like, I mean, they're wearing a full-on face mask, so you... You can't say for sure it's a look of incredulity. Then but. let's say it's not. Let's, let's say it's a look of deep respect. <laughs> Bordering on admiration. The professor starts to clap. The professor actually <laughs> sort of mumbles something. It's like... <laughs> What's that? Corazon, you are so handsome. <laughs> now, this professor's great. The professor just throws a squirrel at your head. <laughs> um, Yetta says... Two points um, of damage. Yetta says... <laughs> Yeah. yeah. It's only fair. On. Yeah, two points of damage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't, even get a, I don't even get a saving throw against the squirrel. Nah, squirrels, mate. It's just like, it's, it's canon. It's in the books. You don't get a saving throw against an unconscious squirrel. <laughs> Looking back on when we first met, I cannot escape and I cannot forget. Baby, you're the one. You used to turn me on. The spell will make you whole again. You're fine. Thank you. <laughs> I look over accusingly at Egbert, who falls over and breaks his leg. <laughs> <laughs> Nah. <laughs> Any road. Uh, so, yeah, the, the professor's mumbled, now thrown a squirrel at, uh, at Corathon. You've sung a song, fixing them up. Uh, Yetta goes like, hmm, that's weird. What, sorry, what's weird? Hmm? Oh, what's weird? Uh, the professor said, um, you remind them of someone they used to know. <gasps> and then the professor sort of takes off their hazmat suit, the helmet, anyway. Um, Dob, what does your sister look like? <gasps> well, like me, but better. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I haven't seen her in a long time, so um, I guess it's up to you. Okay. Um, I mean, she's certainly a half-orc. Cool. Um, you notice she's picked up, like, a couple of scars on her cheek. Like, oh, she's... Hi, twinsies. <laughs> her hair's sort of long, like, half tied up, half down. Um, Egbert bursts into tears at the heart, <laughs> heartwarming reunion. Basically, you just see steam pouring out of <laughs> the tear ducts of a dragonborn paladin. It's all, it's all very emotional. Like, uh, Yetta steps out for a minute and possibly doesn't return for the rest <laughs> of the session. Who knows? Um, um, sis? Dog? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She gives you like a massive, massive hug. There's a big, big old embrace. Uh, I never stopped looking. <laughs> I thought you were dead. Well, I got better from the rabies. <laughs> but I, what happened? You left, you left for town that day. What happened? I went looking for someone. I went looking for someone who could heal you, who could help. And I, I couldn't find anyone who was willing to to come, and eventually I thought I'd just come back and uh, maybe I could, I could be there. At, at, at the at, end? At, oh my God. <laughs> and when I, when I got there, you were gone. And I th was too late. And I thought, I... So anyway, I, um, I, I've spent the rest of the time trying, trying to find, um, a cure for rabies, so no one else had to go through that. <laughs> but, like, you're fine? <laughs> <laughs> Sis, take my blood. The clue may be within it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> also... <laughs> <laughs> Also, we hug for like 10 minutes. Oh, yeah. It's a, it's a lot. It's a long, this big old long hug. Um, and then, um, this only feels right. You roll me the d6. Mm. Go on. Two pints of blood. Um, <laughs> could have been a lot worse. Ooh. Could have been a lot worse. I wouldn't worry, young travelers. Yeah, what, what challenge us up. What do we get, okay. Spooky ah. Crone, if we complete the challenge? Ah. Also, what is the challenge? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> What's the prize? What's uh, the prize? See ye the, the house that is very easily seen from <laughs> the sea? I, I look at um, the, the spooky uh, mansion. I look at the mansion. Upon yonder cliff top? I do. It is uh, really quite horribly, terribly haunted. That's okay. fine, because ghosts don't exist. <laughs> Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. She starts flipping through her tome again. You don't believe in ghosts? No. You are rocking the world of this gravekeeper. <laughs> oh, don't my exist. God. Ghosts we don't exist. Like, like, come on, you be heard... real. Wait, hang on. Is this some paladin order doctrine? No. I just... If ghosts don't exist... Have you ever seen a ghost? Yeah, yeah. spoke with one. So, like, three this morning. <laughs> I don't think so. It was probably a trick of the light. All we right. Literally let's... had a crew of skeleton people. They're not ghosts, though. The dragon man who believes in the sky cow doesn't <laughs> believe in ghosts, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen the sky cow. You've seen I know it's real. You've seen 60 reanimated skeletons. Oh, yes. Yeah. Again, right. not ghosts. Mm. Let's see if tonight's nice... my case. We can change Egbert the skeptic's mind, I'm sure. Yeah. Let's show him a lot of ghosts. Yeah. Art thou quite finished? For I have a lot of sage to burn. Okay. 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 Don't let Please continue. In place of a locked safe, which would have been Heat sensible, <laughs> there is a. <laughs> okay. There's a safe. <laughs> You're gonna melt it. Yep. It melts. <laughs> oh look! As green as ever an emerald were, it's the emerald tear. Oh! 
Um, and you hear some thundering footsteps coming up the thing going, what is going on here? Tell you what's going on here, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> it's Wait, the Emerald hey. Tear. Oh, well, I thought that Horatio stole it. Well, guess what? It's here. So... You uh, have what been... is the meaning of this? It's you... in the safe. You hid it. You framed you... the ratio. That's his name. Also, every time we mention it, everyone laughs. This is not news. <laughs> Who are we talking to? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I remember when I was talking to... What? Yes, um, y y your, your head of the guard, uh, he, he said uh, that emeralds were blue. Well, that's stupid. And then the, the pawnbroker couldn't get the gem back because he'd sold it. Yeah, that's right. This whole thing's not fishy right of an egg, but... Here. <laughs> uh... Behind your face. Well, how was I to know what was behind my own face? <laughs> it's your office and it was locked. I think I've heard enough from this Giles character. Is anyone. Ellen? Let's cut open his face Meryl... and see what's inside. <laughs> <laughs> Meryl Wen? Yes. Bear down protocol? Yes. I turn into a cat. <laughs> I pick up Meryl Wen the cat and I hurl Meryl Wen the cat directly at Giles. <laughs> But, obviously a cat being so light, you can imagine the speed at which this cat is moving towards Giles. Yeah, let's see if you're accurate. <laughs> well, well, well. Well, well. <laughs> is it doing a barrel roll? Yeah. It's yeah. rifling through the air. Never give up. <laughs> Trust your instincts. <laughs> um... No, I don't think you are going to have to beat an armor class of 16. <laughs> really? Um, <laughs> beat me a five. Why not? He's in his party gear. <laughs> All right, but I don't think the accuracy is going to be an issue. What? It's a 13. <laughs> <laughs> Just as I hit him, I turn into a bear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still in the Deadpool outfit. Okay. <laughs> right, right. hey, um... <laughs> <laughs> do you like? Do you want him to die, or are you just apprehending him? Just apprehending. <laughs> as a bear. Then it's not as grisly a tale as I feel. <laughs> oh. um, basically, you, um, yeah, you. You bear hug him onto the floor. And he's like, unhand me, this is uncivil and terrible. And also, as I think you've already come to understand, the city guard is in my employ. Yeah, well, well where's Amelia? Sucked? Hmm? Where's Amelia? Is Amelia seeing this or is she still... I mean, I feel like she'd have probably followed... I think she's... Yeah. If, if the, the commotion before wasn't enough, I'd imagine the sound of a cat turning into a bear <laughs> <laughs> will have drawn her out. So she's there like... Father, how could you? Not even father, are you? That cool pirate was telling the truth. <laughs> we all remain tactfully quiet. Yeah. <laughs> this the is cool, a real important moment for them. So. The cool pirate lawyer, sorry. You're right. No, 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 you're right. My real parents are dead, and the man I thought was my father isn't my father. And now I have a big apology to make my boyfriend. Uh, thanks so much. <laughs> no, really, thank you. You're welcome. The, cra the crazy thing is that during all this commotion, the bloody emerald vanished. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, uh, who knows where it went? Just, just, just mad. It's a mystery, I'm sure. Mm. <laughs> Basically, Chauncey, you sort of see uh, as light sort of spills in through the door a uh, sudden silhouette of um, a really cool, really cool roguish Whoa. looking guy. Like, yeah, that's, that is the appropriate it's reaction. Like, in the he's just got, like, <laughs> he draws a blade <gasps> and settles into it looks really cool. Like his shirt sort of falls open <laughs> a bit, and it's like he's got, How far? It, he's got like enough that, you know, <laughs> enough that you know that you would love to sleep on those pectorals. <laughs> like, they're Whoa. like dinner plates. So like, they're, wow. They are the good china. <laughs> and he sort of settles languidly oh into like God. this fencer's pose, 
And I guess we should roll initiative. Mm. Uh, like, a bear's just like taking the junk out of his back. Uh, Egbert, what are you doing now? <laughs> I'm going to attempt to use the word... Again, I'm trying to be pacifist about this. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to help any way I can. Uh, so I'm going to issue a command. And that okay. command is... Disrobe. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Because he'll lose his armour. But also, what about stop Corazon, stop if you want to see those sweet pecs. <laughs> Merwin says, I'm, fine. <laughs> I'm fine with it. Insisting. <laughs> surrender. Sur surrender would also work. No, that's boring. I used that one before, disrobe. <laughs> okay. I like to say, I used that one before as if this is in the manual. <laughs> <laughs> as if they would give you that option. Oh, boy. You might be lucky, it might fail. Okay. I shield my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Pull back the case. Uh, 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 uh. It's got to be disrobed, guys. What? People I'm terribly to sorry. You? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my god. He strips Egbert naked. It's not a transitive verb. Wait, so hang on. So how does it. So the, why. If, I, I, I'm not arguing. It's a one word decision. command. It's a one it's word, word command. It's going to be a one word command. And oh. if you said disarm. It would be, you suggest you're disarming someone else, probably. Oh, okay. All right, so you don't want the spell to go astray and... Yeah. Okay. Twist your words. I don't want it to be a Wes Craven's Wishmaster wish sort master of situation. situation. <laughs> sure. we, no, none of us want a Wishmaster situation. <laughs> but so you're saying there's... So you a, can see the only option. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So you're saying there's a slim chance one of us will be magically disrobed <laughs> no. in a magical way. No, no, I'm now. saying at him. It's fine. Why am I nude suddenly? <laughs> Um, what's your spell save DC? It was... Oh yeah, 12. 12. Spell save DC. <laughs> <laughs> Just hear him go, okay! <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> he's gonna do that on his next turn. Uh, Prudent! Sure, what have you got to <laughs> now? Oh. There's, a, uh, there's a robe on the ceiling preparing to get <laughs> naked. <laughs> Oh, what are you, how, how do sir, you feel please. about that? <laughs> this is the consecrated ground, sir. This is neither the time nor the place. So um, it's Darkfall's turn, and he basically, I mean, he's, he's dropped his sword and given sort of a shriek of pain. <laughs> Uh, and it's he's liquid metal on the floor now, right? Surely it's completely... I think so, yeah. It's, it's certainly too hot to handle right now. Uh, as is he, am I right? <laughs> he drops to the floor and he's just like... Eh, eh, and takes off all of his clothes. It's like... Oh my ah God. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Oh okay. Good. Right. Great work. Thought so. Uh, no one look. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Great. Corazon, stop looking. <laughs> no, I'm just determining tactical weaknesses. Yeah. <laughs> Have you found one? I bet I found one, yeah. <laughs> it looks like a tree to me. <laughs> right, Corazon, it's your go. Good I, God. Jack, mate, mate, one rogue to another. <laughs> this fight is the like, 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 this, <laughs> so, Yeah, okay, yeah. Just one rogue to another. This fight isn't going super well for you. You're naked, you've got no weapon. You're all burned up. <laughs> I mean, is it really so important to you to poison this palate in order that you want to keep this thing going, or do you want to just like call it, knock this on the head now, and maybe we can talk about this? I'm just, and you can put some clothes on, maybe. No. <laughs> no, it isn't important to you, or no, <laughs> we're, gonna, <laughs> we're gonna not gonna knock this on the head. Which one means fight? <laughs> you, want fight? You, just, you want to carry on fighting? Where? But do you want? Do you want to explain like why you really want to kill this pilot in order? No. No, you don't. You want to keep on the fight. All oh, right, the yeah. fighting. <laughs> All right. Well, I, I mean, I tried, Egbert. I really tried here. So get him, Corazon. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna um, give him the old uh, rapier thrust to above the belt <laughs> line. <laughs> All right, are you looking to beat an eight now? Okay. Oh, no, it's a five. <laughs> What's your dex modifier? Oh, wait, my dex modifier. Yes, you're right, four. So. You managed. No, it's oh. good. Okay, good. Okay, you might have been below the belt if you weren't careful. Roll your damage. Quel damage. Quel damage. Okay. <laughs> That's a four. All right. Um, you sort of, you, you give him a good poke and blood starts to sort of run. Yeah. from between two ribs, and he's like, Ugh. Oh, okay, I'm not going to use my bonus action to hide again. <laughs> I cast, oh, no, it might be, um, I, won't, I won't use that just in case. I'm just going to go for another claw, another claw. Right. I think. You're going to be eight. 
cap. <laughs> Seventeen. <laughs> That's a hit then. Yep. Uh, so yeah, Nine rolls today. Five. Five and four. That's fourteen again. Yeah, you you basically just like almost take his shoulder off. Oh, like, oh gosh! <sighs> uh, and he sort of staggers for a minute. It's like. He looks at you and says, I'm being naked. <laughs> <laughs> Slumps to the floor and is dead. No! Oh! 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 I tried wow. to talk to him. Oh, he wasn't having any of it. Barely knew you. Also, I have his boots. <laughs> <laughs> They're mine now. And also yeah, any other You don't even need to take them off his corpse. Yeah. He A took thank them you, off. maybe? I take all his clothes off and the floor. I yeah. put them on. <laughs> All right, let's go up the river to the mouth and source of it, where it comes from. All right, how are you going to get there? Because there, you, there are a lot of boat names being thrown around there, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> You're a boat dude. Could we fashion yeah, a boat? Yeah, I, I know all the boats. All right. Yeah, I know them all. Make, make uh, this one. Coracle, I said that one. Uh, row, row boat is one. Uh, that one that looks like a swan that's got pedals. <laughs> <laughs> I, will, I vote that one. I think we can that probably one. we can fashion a pedalo from one of things those. around us, can't we? <laughs> yeah, fine. As is some driftwood. You fashion a pedalo. <laughs> uh, so yeah, the, you basically you invent pedalos. Pedalos now exist in the. Uh, the We're gonna need more. You're than welcome. Yeah. fleet. Yeah, yeah we can have a pedalo race without two pedalos at least. Yeah. Yeah. They're, fair. Okay. They're known as Corazons from now on because I invented them. So we get into the Corazons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, what do they all look like? What's on their heads? You've got one that's a swan. It's like a thing. swan, but with my face. <laughs> <laughs> that's horrifying. Oh, that's <laughs> monstrous. That's, I'm I, writing that down. You're going to fight that one day. <laughs> <laughs> Did we make them I out of haunted like wood? I want to get off. A swan <laughs> with the face of... Coruswan. <laughs> That's uh, inspiration for ever? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll call that one forever. Uh, I think we should let Meryl Wynn pull the lever. Meryl Wynn walks yeah, over on. to where the lever is, and about 15 foot before she reaches it, she goes, dunk. Oh. You've walked into a glass wall. Oh, it's a mime trap. Um, uh. It's yep. worse than we expected. Boom, boom. Um, as you sort of you, you have a look at it, you realise that the uh, the lever in the middle is enclosed in some form of glass cube, and it's huh. almost it's like a maze. Like it, there's there's a small opening in the bottom in one of the corners, and then it's kind of like goes up, and it's like a series of, of twisty turny pipes, oh um, no. and then. In Ooh. the middle is the lever. Oh, I don't like it. Corazon, can you send your weird, creepy ghost hand through ah. that maze? Oh, through the... Yeah, probably. I mean, if it's glass, can we not just smash the maze? It might be really strong magic glass. Oh, I, I, think think I think you should use your weird hand. Hit it with your mace. These pipes, how, what's the diameter of these pipes? Is it like the size of a, a person, or is it like the size of a crystal maze crystal, hyper, for example? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's small. Oh. It's closer right. to a crystal maze crystal. Okay. All right, I'll send, guys, mage, I'll send mage I... hand in. Then, oh, no. Meryl has got an idea. I got this. What? I turn into a giant octopus. <laughs> what? What? Um, what? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Does, I'm okay. so excited to see how this is the solution. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, but also, what? <laughs> Do you immediately start suffocating? Is this yeah. Meryl new animal form? Is this, oh my word. Is this a reveal? <laughs> Are you going to turn into a giant octopus right now? Oh Yay! my god. <laughs> How giant are we talking? Are we all immediately killed by yeah. <laughs> the end of Watchmen? The story of the tale of Watchmen. <laughs> it's suddenly like, oh, you're, you're all of you pressed up against a giant octopus. Like, hello, it's massive. Wow. Um, are you about to do the thing where octopuses squeeze themselves into really tight spaces and it's absolutely horrifying? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've oh. never respected you more. <laughs> I don't even, I'm not even going to make you roll for this. <laughs> Basically, yeah, you see this octopus kind of just go, whoa. Oh, and my it's God. That is horrifying. It's, it's I've got, I've got actual, disgusting. I've got, I've got nature trivia on this. Um, an octopus can 
get through any space that is no smaller than its eyeball and beak, because that's oh how small my. it Those can go. Those are the only solid bits of yeah, it. Yeah, eyeball oh and beak. Dear. So it doesn't even look like you're struggling to move through this maze. However, it looks like she's just like crammed herself into an impossibly small space. I cancel dancing lights, so I don't have to look at this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you have to roll. Uh, so <laughs> make me. Um, uh, we'll call this an intelligence investigation check in order to find the centre of the mess. <laughs> it was worth it just to see that. I don't even care what you rolled. Four. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> we'll call that a nat 20. Um, yeah, just kind of fe feeling along, you sort of, you're sticking tentacles into other roots to see, it's like, is that the right one? No, that's not Hello. the right one. Hello. Wow, th thanks, octopus. <laughs> <laughs> the octopus has drawn the mythical blade. <laughs> and uh, you, you reach the lever, and then... <laughs> You all hear the release of some mechanism, and then yeah. yes. the drawbridge comes down. Cool. Oct Octawin, are we gonna Octawin? What do you like? What's your What's your Yes. <laughs> yes. Octawin on giant octopus Merylwin. I, I high five the octopus, out. and it's really gross. It's like a heavy weighted bean uh. bag. It's disgusting. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Octawin. Uh, two things. One, that was amazing. Two. Can you squirt ink? If so, can we see it? <laughs> Dov, Dov is that now... Was, that was a shrug. Oh, yeah, no, I saw it as a shrug. You did it? Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Dov is, yeah, Dov is now completely covered in ink. A bunch of it goes in my eyes and mouth. <laughs> <laughs> sure. There's also there's an outline of him on the wall. It looks like really, <laughs> really cool graffiti. Or like Elmer Fudd exploded. Um, <laughs> Okay, All so right. the drawbridge is down. Let's, I'm going to have to call this dexterity to, to grab hold of him, I think. Okay. He is quite wary of you. All right. Um, you're looking That's only plus one. But you're looking to be a 12. 12 plus one, okay. okay. 20! Oh! Crit, 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 You're not sure how you do it, you, you, you did it, but basically where you meant to sort of slam his body against the, the bars, you just sort of pull him through. <laughs> <laughs> Whoop! Oh. And now he's in there with you, looking terrified. I'm not trapped in here with you! <laughs> not trapped in here with me. He's just sort of standing there like, uh, um, uh. Let's have a little chat. What the ruddy hell is going on here? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just a, I'm, um, I'm just a guard. I just guard the things. It's not my business why you're in here. You must yes, but you know about it, don't you? It's not your business, but you know. That, that's as well be, yeah. Go on then, tell me. Or I'll use, use my little prison punching bag forever. Make <laughs> your sentence. <laughs> Make me a charisma intimidation check. <laughs> um, we'll call that a ten. Nineteen. Whoa. <laughs> um, it's a sort of a little illegal, illegal, illegal operation where we sort of just like imprison people who are either magic users or have interesting organs, and then we sort of sap all their magic energy out and um, sometimes harvest their organs. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they took your interesting organs. You will be sorry. How do we get out of here? Those keys, perhaps? Yeah, I was, I mean, uh, you, you, you've, uh, you've got me at a severe disadvantage here, actually. I was going to ask, do you want the keys now, or did you plan to kill me and take them? Well, <laughs> you sort of answered your own question, so give me the keys now, and we'll, we'll see how things go after that. Sort of unloops the, the ring and sort of holds it up, jangling. Basically, the rest of you are like, can't hear everything they're saying, but it sounds like it's going well. <laughs> you hear the telltale inviting jingle of lots and lots of keys. Yeah. I'm going to need to know which one opens this cell. Sort of reaches out again, like grabs hold of the right one. The jingling gets bigger. He's like, ling, 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 like eh, it's that one. OK, thanks. I reach through, unlock the cell, and leave forever. <laughs> <laughs> Grab him by the scruff of the neck and walk him to each cell, asking him to unlock all of the other cells. Please, thank you. Smart. He does that. He sort of just slowly sort of unlocks everyone. He doesn't make eye contact with anybody. He's just sort of looking at his feet. And then he does it all, and you see his shoulders slump. He's like, this is it. This is it for me. Me too. Windows. I can't live on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> You're institutionalized. <laughs> this doesn't have to be the end for you. Come with us. No, don't. What? No. 
He will not fit in a papoose dog. I know there's, I know there's good in you, Jailer, I just met. See it in your eyes. You didn't want to do this. You don't want to be doing this. Help us. Help us get out. Help us get our stuff back. Help us get Egbert's bits back. Yeah. <laughs> Egbert's interesting organs. Swim bladder. Oh, God. Make me a charisma persuasion check. <laughs> we'll call this a 15. Oh. Oh, it's 18, 18. plus, it doesn't matter. <laughs> What's your name, by the way? <laughs> Seeing as we're going to be spending some time together. <laughs> probably a good and interesting, well thought out name, I expect. Yep. Probably, probably a really surprising and interesting name. Yeah. Lots of syllables. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I feel, feel like you're a Christopher. I'm getting like a Christopher kind of vibe. I, I quite like an Engelbert. Christopher Engelbert? Yeah. The 17th. Yes. Ted, stop me if I'm wrong, but Christopher Engelbert the 17th? You, that's uncanny, sir. They said I couldn't do magic anymore. <laughs> Look at that cold read. Uh, okay, buddy. Yep. You know where our stuff is. Where is it? Let's go get it. Yep. Who's your boss also? Uh, <laughs> and how many other guards are there? Loads of questions. And is there a shower anywhere? Oh, now we're out the cells. I cast prestidigitation on. You can't cast magic. They're Not yet. taking oh, the did. magic thing. Oh. I thought it was only in Even the... in the corridor, the floor oh, yeah, yeah, lights yeah, yeah, yeah. up. <laughs> you feel some energy get sapped away from you and taken off to parts unknown. He's like, yeah, so, so, sorry about that. You're giving them extra energies. Is there like an off switch for that? Or do you know the code or something? Hang on, I... He sort of just gestures at himself like, Re uh, I'm an unnamed guard. He leads you further on and opens the door um, on a room suffused with golden light, uh, with satin sheets on a bed and finery everywhere. Like, there's a, a, a table inlaid with walnut, which is inlaid with silver, which is inlaid with more walnut, and then like some silver walnut. You'd, to be honest, <laughs> you get bored counting the inlays. Um, it, uh, is just extremely well appointed. There is a rack of the finest wines. There is a grog barrel. There is a rug made of um, some form of exotic creature that you've always wanted to hunt, actually. But it's extinct now. Yes. So, yeah, but they've got a rug of it. Well, yep. it is perfect. now. This is perfect. Thank you. I don't want to impose, but while this is happening, yep. can, I, can I impose? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> well, I've unpacked yep. all the spooky seaweed bits and books and yep. 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 everything's laid out. I swing down the hall, yep. knock on some doors, knock on your door. You knock on Coruscant's door? Yeah, 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 hey. yeah. Bang, 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 bang. <clears throat> bang, 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 bang. All right, hey. I am one bottle of claret and three grogs deep, and I'm eating a plump capon I ordered up from the kitchen. Hey, 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 Prudence! This place is great! Why is everyone dying? Prudence. <laughs> yes. You walk in to find Coruscant de Baena ensconced in what just seems like one enormous bed of slime and fungus and rot. And he appears to be drinking out of just sort of <sighs> some weird rotted carafe. Hey. A dark black liquid that's running down his chin and shirt. The whole place reeks. Oh, it's, sweet Cthulhu. He is covered in the in ocean. Blood. Corazon, I underestimated you. This place is rocking. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Pull up a chair. Get a glass. This, I thought this place would be covered in like tacky satin and walnut, you know, inlays yeah. and. But, yeah, you know, but the, actually, it's really tasteful. The, the slime and tentacles and, <laughs> the, sorry, the, 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 you know, moss and. <laughs> Seaweed, that stuff you're drinking, you've got all the sludge, the, black sludge down the, your chops, this, no? This is an extremely fine claret, Prudence. I, dob, uh, not Dob, your Dob, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Two years we've been doing this. Perception check, please, wisdom perception check, please, Corazon. Call it a ten. <laughs> That's a three. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, wisdom, wait, wait, wait. wisdom. Plus two. It's a, um, it's a five. It's a five. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that'll be a five. Don't forget your proficiency bonus is plus three these days. It still doesn't help. It's just good to know. Yeah. It's an eight. Um, oh, it's an eight then. What is Prudence talking about? Prudence, you crazy. This is great. Delicious claret. Nom, nom, nom. All right. 
Mm, I don't mind the taste. We Very come good. marching down the corridor from the opposite direction. Corazon's covered in a kind of black sludge. I take a detour to the humidor, help myself to a fine Cuban cigar, bite down heavily on it. <laughs> <laughs> Strike a match on my boot. Mm. Ah, the great flavor of Cuban. Can't be beat. Guys. Whereas I look at Corazon, and in his mouth, I see. <laughs> no. No. Bad. No. 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 I said no. It's a finger. Grow up. Oh. <laughs> Said the man running a game of Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourselves. Corazon, okay. why are you chomping down on that old dead finger? It's a fine Cuban. Mm. Ah, the great aroma. As it passes under your nose, give me another check. <laughs> <laughs> it's another three. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? <laughs> uh, it's, some people say you can't tell from the smell, but you really can tell when it's been hand-rolled. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, just wait one second. I ordered this big platter of uh, smoked salmon. I'm just going to big no! rip, big <laughs> ribbony sheet of deliciously smoked. Let me just uh, uh, chow down on this. Roll me <laughs> the same <laughs> check again. Come on, three. Oh, it's higher. It's a four. <laughs> <laughs> mm, mm, mm. <laughs> oh, num, num. Delicious, definitely not just like sliced human tongues. Oh, oh. whoa. Mm. Yeah. Whoa. Mm. It's a slightly deli more delicate smoke than you usually get, which really, really brings out the natural flavor of the salmon. <laughs> you sure you don't want some? <laughs> I'm dry I heaving. <laughs> I, can't, I can't bring myself to tell oh. him, so... This place Let's is leave him to wonderful. It. Corazon's got his own thing going on. Yes. I suggest He's having right, a down to the kitchen, holiday. did you say? Why I not? Let's I go. Swing by the kitchen and get Egbert, what do you say? Yeah, 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 yeah. we've got to have Egbert. All, all right. right, let's go. All right, uh, all right, we race down to the kitchen. Uh, and, to find and eggs. Find Egbert. <laughs> 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 all right, just us then. <laughs> But the evening's just beginning, lads. And for my next trick. It's five day voyage. Uh, what? Five day voyage. Of course, spread out. We've only got five days it's and five day things voyage. on each five day, but right, we probably shouldn't burn through all the. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what I mean is, the evening's just beginning, because it's salsa night. <laughs> they they the immediately. Rest of the chef Egbert has brought, cooked up. Some salsa. Uh, salsa. <laughs> do you know what a salsa night salsa is? Salsa and guac and, and tacos. I thought you meant the dance salsa night. Yeah. I haven't even started. It's both. And that both things happen together. <laughs> you salsa in a big vat of salsa. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Egbert will perform a salsa dance, which is a dance involving salsa the dip. <laughs> oh my god. Could you, um. Oh boy. Do you make me a charisma performance check, please? This yeah, will what govern I the quality of your salsa. <laughs> The big one. The, the big, big one. The big dice. Uh, okay, I've got plus three charisma, actually. So. Mm. Uh, nine <laughs> plus three is 12. Okay. Easy. The dance is uh, passable. The salsa is more heat than it is flavor. <laughs> but they sort of crowd around it and sort of just spoon some of it into their mouths and they sort of, if anything, they, they turn to you all and sort of give a bow of deference. Am I doing this while dancing? Yes. So, like, <laughs> sort of... <laughs> Woo! And, and spooning it into mouths yeah. along the road. Oh, my God. Yeah. Lads, 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 lads. Lads, 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 lads. Anyone outside this theatre is going to have a very strange idea of <laughs> what's going on Oh, in I here. don't know what's going on at that EGX, but it's pretty toxic. <laughs> anyway. It's the well, first fellas, video I think games that's... convention ever where someone has <laughs> chanted lads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think this must be a first. 
So there you have it, some of our and your favourite moments of Oxventure 2019. Let us know your faves in the comments below and why not check out the full playlist which includes a brand new adventure, Peak Performance. Oh, and subscribe for more Dungeons & Dragons in future. Bye! Meow!